customers can learn about brushes and combs and they get the right products in their hand, our job's a lot easier as a groomer. Um, so brushes and combs are what we're talking about today. The number one brush that you can carry in your salon is, or in your shop, your, your retail space, is going to be the slicker brush. It is used on virtually every breed of dog that we use, that we bring. And so uh, whether it's a St. Bernard, whether it's a Yorkie, no matter what, um, we're going to pick up a slicker brush at least for part of it. Um, it comes in all kinds of different sizes. They're curved, they're triangular, there's big ones, there's little ones, there's um, different uh, length of the tines, uh, of the bristles. Some of them are curved, some of them are straight, and we'll go into all that. Um, and again, uh, various price ranges, you know, some of them, you know, believe it or not, us professional groomers that are, are equipment junkies, you know, we pay up to $100 for a, a really good slicker. So that's how important that they are in the grooming industry. Here's a little Yorkie, you know, um, She's using a curved slicker on this dog. Uh, the curve just, it helps to get down because so many people, when they brush, they're so tentative, they're afraid they're gonna hurt the dog. So they don't, but it, and the slicker that's curved, it'll kind of get down deeper in the middle and it helps to reach the coat because nine times out of 10, people come in, they go, oh, I brush my dog every day and it's matted to the bottom because they brush, brush over the top. So very important that they get the right tool in their hand for the job. So they come in different shapes. These are just a, a generic uh, slicker. Um, you know, it used to be when I first started out, I had one slicker and I used it until it was dead. And the times were all like this. And my uh, mentor, she looked at them one day and she goes, you might want to replace this sometime. So anyway, the slickers, um, they do wear out. They do need to be replaced. Um, the thing that's important to me as a groomer is that the heads don't come apart, that this uh, is very sturdy in the manufacturing of them. Um, the little ones, of course, are for your toy breed dogs, um, and those tend to be the one, the people that don't brush as much, you know, because the little dogs, they're like, oh, don't touch me. <laughs> but um, very important in the, you know, you've got to read your customers and you know, you know, are they going to be a soft slicker person or are they going to be a medium slicker person or a hard firm uh, firmness with the bigger ones? Because if it's somebody that's a little more aggressive, they can brush burn or irritate the skin. So um, be aware of what they're looking for, kind of feel them out, what they're going to use it for, what the breed of dog is. Uh, how often do they brush it, so on and so forth, how often do they get it groomed, uh, and things like that. You know, if it's a Shih Tzu, is it a full-coated Shih Tzu? Is it a full-coated Yorkie? Um, if that's the case, they're probably gonna wanna go with a little firmer, little longer time uh, bristles. So, the other thing that they have that's not, uh, I don't have a picture of it, but there's a triangular um, slicker brush. And it's great to get into armpits and the... Uh, uh